Yo, what's going on guys? Doug Sensor Martin here. Hope you guys are having a great, great day. It's 11.30 at night. I'm making this video really late, but quick, before this video even gets started, I just want to let you guys know I am running a huge, huge promotion with G Fuel right now. One second. So we're doing a 30% off code on G Fuel. I don't know if it's on everything store-wide. I know it's on these dad hats. I signed 100 of these hats. And the first 100 people who buy them are going to get my autograph signature, which is pretty cool. So 30% off G Fuel and a free three-pack. I know I'm whispering at you next sleep. I'm trying to respect her privacy. 30% off G Fuel, free three-pack of G Fuel, whatever you want, like the stick packs. So uh, take advantage of it. Use code SENSOR or SENSOR30. I'm not sure exactly which code it is. I'll put both links in here. I'm probably going to figure out by the morning. SENSOR or SENSOR30, 30% off G Fuel and these hats. First 100 who buy them are going to get an autograph signature of mine. All right, so what's up, guys? Hope you all having a great, great day. I know I'm whispering. I'm sorry for that, but I just want to know your opinion on the facial hair should i keep growing it because i can't grow it on like the sides of my cheeks at all like i only get like a couple of little spots i can only get it like on my neck over here right over here and then over here i don't think it connects over here either so i might have like a little bit of a stash here and some uh some hair over here i want to try this out for like at least two weeks Girlfriend's not too happy about it, uh, but fuck it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I really want to know. Should I keep growing it or should I just shave it off? Type like one for grow, shave for two. Dude, I think I have dyslexia. I can't like say the things that I want to say. Type one in the comments if you guys think I should keep growing my facial hair. Type two in the comments if you think I shouldn't grow my facial hair. If I should just shave it right off. Anyways, you guys remember when I made that video over a year ago um, when I was in Central Park with Yannette? It was the first time she was in New York and we went to Montauk. We had like a little vacation. We went to New York City. TMZ stopped us in Central Park. Uh, they completely, completely violated me. I made a reaction video to it. It has over a million views. Well, I saw TMZ again in the airport. So the way it happened was really weird. We got into the LAX airport, Yannette and I, uh, when we first went to LA for that, that promotion we did. So we get to the airport, get our bags, and we go to call an Uber, just like how we should. You know, we get the Uber so we can go to the hotel and, and get ready to, you know, do this promotion, whatever. So we're going to call the Uber, and um, apparently, like, the passenger pickup place is in a different location from where we got our bags. So we walked outside. There was people there, like, with cars getting picked up, which is weird. But apparently for Uber, you got to go upstairs at LAX. So we're like, all right, whatever. We take all the bags. I take all of her freaking bags. I'm, like, strolling along with four bags on my arm. We go up the escalator, and all of a sudden, there's this, like, Australian dude just sitting there with a big-ass camera on his shoulder, like, recording, recording everything. And he's like, hey, I'm TMZ. Like, we're doing an interview right now. I was like, oh, well, great. Okay, let's do it. It was really uncomfortable. I mean, I, I don't care anymore. I feel like my entire life is so public where it doesn't matter to me. But, um, and I think I thrive in uncomfortable situations. Maybe that's why I'm so awkward because, like, I just don't care. And maybe I come off in, like, an awkward way. I don't know. I was always like that, though, even as a kid growing up in school. I didn't really know how to talk to people. But um, I think I've come a long way. And, um, yeah, it was really awkward. It was really uncomfortable. But I, I was just like, screw it. Why not? Like, I, I just want to have a nice smile on my face it was actually really bad because we like did not sleep at all the night before and we had like no sleep on the plane so we felt and looked like shit but anyways guys this video is actually posted on youtube and i haven't seen it on youtube i haven't watched it back at all but i know that it aired on tmz because i had people coming up to me in the gym saying that they were watching tmz like this one guy that i talked to when i went to hawaii with Yannette, he also went to hawaii with his wife and i haven't talked to him that much but i see him all the time in the gym i'm really friendly with a lot of people in my gym and this guy comes up to me as i'm working out the other day he's like me and my wife were watching tmz before bed and uh, we saw you on there, bro. Like, I could have sworn it was you. And then I was like, holy shit, that guy goes to my gym. A couple other people, my friends and family said they saw this on TV. I don't really have too much time to focus on TV. I've been really busy lately with a lot of stuff behind the scenes. I cannot wait to share with you guys. I remember being there in the moment. I don't remember exactly how it came out or what they said about us. I just remember the questions being really uncomfortable. So I'm curious to see, because I know how TMZ works. I'm curious to see how they put this all together. And maybe if they uh, gave me any recognition. Because last time um, when I did this TMZ thing with the net, they like made it all about her and they were like screw this guy it was kind of funny though but um let's watch this video all right so right off the bat we're looking at this title mexico's hottest weather girl tmz tv we love you Aww. we love you a lot yannette garcia at lax oh my god is she the weather lady she's the mexico's hot weather lady Vaya organizando bien todas actividades para estas vacaciones. yes we haven't seen her in a long time i say when people have nothing to say to each other they talk about the weather Small talk. What do weather girls small talk about? Okay, I love that question. Well, she can't understand it. Uh, I don't, I don't think she can understand it. it. Okay, hold on a second. I just want to stop this really quick. I remember he was like so excited. First of all, like he didn't even care about me at all. Like he didn't want to look at me. He didn't want anything to do with me. 
which was kind of weird. And he was just like talking so fast with his Australian accent to Yannette. And I felt bad because like she couldn't understand a word he was saying. So I'm like sitting there trying to help translate, but he didn't want any part of me. Like he didn't care about me. Like I was just like worthless in his eyes, but he asked the question and it was like so specific. And I knew that it was like a joke and that she was not going to understand it. So I tried to help translate it and uh, she still, whatever. Let's just, let's just finish watching this. Good effort. That's a really good question. Thank you. I'm learning. You're learning? Okay, good. Is this your teacher? I'm a boyfriend. Boy boyfriend and teacher. Well, the funny thing is, her boyfriend was translating for you, but he was just repeating what you said. Are there any pretty American weather girls that you admire? Do you like any American weather girls? Well, he takes away the Australian accent for her. <laughs> oh, that's what it is. That's exactly what's going on in the whole clip. Thank you so much, guys. Gracias. That, that's it. They literally took like three clips from that entire thing and they just made me look like shit again. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm looking at all these comments and like everyone's just being assholes back to TMZ. I feel like you guys give them a lot of hate for no reason. Like I know that, you know, I'm not the, the main star. Like everybody just wants to look at her and, and how she looks and like nobody gives a shit about me. I get it. Like I'm used to it. But damn, like you guys really have my back. That's awesome. TMZ, you fucked up. Can't even recognize my boy face sensor. They call me her her teacher. Why would her teacher be flying in an airport with her? I guess you could call me her teacher. I mean, I kind of am an English teacher too. I'm a jack of all trades. I like to say that. So I'm a I'm a fitness enthusiast. I'm a Call of Duty, ex Call of Duty pro player. <sighs> G Fuel ambassador, Gym Shark ambassador. Be a visionary, Gym Shark. Use code sensor 30, 30% 30 off G Fuel. Technically, I'm an actor now because I got paid to act in a movie. And uh, well. Apparently to TMZ, I'm just a nobody. One of these days, TMZ is going to recognize who I am. They will give me the respect that I deserve. Probably not. Never. <laughs> so, well, yeah, I got roasted by TMZ again for the second time. I guess last year they did a thing with us. I don't even know how they found us in the airport. Like, that was actually really weird. Like, I seriously don't. If TMZ, if you guys could contact me and let me know, like, that is some next level shit. Seriously, I literally have zero idea how they knew that we were there. It was as if the guy knew we were there. He was waiting. It, he, he had to be waiting for us because he had his camera recording and ready. Unless if there was somebody else coming in. Because I know LAX has a lot of like celebrities and a lot of entertainers go out there. So I don't know. But I just thought that was really interesting. Um, regardless if I, I get roasted or not or if they don't care who I am, I think it's still really cool that I'm on TMZ. Even if it's not for me, even if it's for my girlfriend, I, I, I think that's pretty cool. You know, I'm just a kid who works out and, and plays video games. So... I'm honored, and I'll take whatever I can get. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a great day. It's been your boy, Doug Sensor Martin. Please leave a like on the video. 30% off G Fuel. Use code Sensor or Sensor30. I'm not sure which one. Use the top link in the description below. Hope you guys all have a great day. It's been your boy, Doug Sensor Martin. And I'm out, guys. Peace.